Uh, hello, my name is Marshall White, and this is the first video in a series of videos documenting a balloon project that I'm doing. And the basic goal of this project is to send a large weather balloon with a payload attached, uh, specifically a camera, um, up to an altitude between 5,000 and 50,000 feet that we can uh, set in some software that we're running on our flight computer and have it hover at that altitude for a selected amount of time and then make its descent back down to the ground. And here is a basic diagram of our balloon. So we have the balloon itself, obviously, and then we have an electrically controlled valve here, which is connected to this relay. And we have a camera and we have a GPS tracker, which through a satellite link to our phones provides a live update of the balloon's position so that we can recover it once it reaches the ground again. Um, we have an altimeter and thermometer. They're one unit that connect to the flight computer and yeah, that's pretty much it. And we have, these are all contained in an insulated styrofoam housing because it gets pretty cold at the altitudes that we're attempting to reach. Um, and so today we're going to be talking a bit about the flight computer. Um, and the, the goal of the flight computer is, based on the software we have, it gets a reading from the altimeter, and every second it looks at this reading, and uh, if it is above the altitude that we have set, then um, it triggers the, the valve to vent, which then releases uh, helium slowly from the balloon. And the idea is that it repeats this venting process until the balloon has achieved neutral buoyancy and it can hover at the height that we've selected. And then once the timer runs up, um, it vents as much of the helium as possible and allows the balloon to descend. And so that's the, the basic deal behind it. And here we have the actual flight computer. So here you can see uh, our flight computer. It's based on an Arduino Uno, and it has something called a data shield attached, which allows us to insert an SD card, which we can then log data to. And so based on the software we're running on the Arduino, um, it logs every second the altitude and temperature. Um, and we can look back at that when we access the SD card. Um, and then here, connected through these, is our altimeter and thermometer. They're one unit and they provide pretty much all the data we need uh, for the Arduino. Um, so we have that, as well as a 1080p little camera. Very nice, it's battery operated, it's also very cheap. Um, as well as the GPS, which will provide live updates of the balloon's position. All of this is, again, uh, very inexpensive so that uh, we can afford to lose a few units of uh, the balloon if something goes wrong.